It's never easy calling off a relationship. The idea that this initial point of connection can shift as people mature and experience different aspects of life is sometimes uncomfortable. As hard as it is to tell someone things just aren't working out between you two, it would be even harder to continue forcing it, telling yourself that things will eventually work out when you know deep down they won't. Does this sound familiar? Here are seven signs they may not be a keeper. One, you find yourself consistently unhappy with the relationship. We know relationships aren't just all games and no work. But if it's constant work without fulfillment, then is it really the right one for you? Happiness is not an emotion that can be felt on a consistent basis. As humans, we experience bad days, drama, and disagreements. But no one should ever make you feel like you have to satisfy your partner's needs, or that your partner isn't helping you satisfy your own desires or ambitions. A healthy relationship means checking in with one another frequently and making sure a balance is achieved. Two, you hold a toxic dynamic with your partner. Based on one study, researchers have discovered that there are three main conflict styles in relationships, mutual constructive, demand withdraw, and mutual avoidance. While conflicts are not inherently bad and are to be expected in any relationship, ongoing conflict can hurt both partners rather than bringing them closer. The mutual constructive style strengthens the relationship when both partners can only express what is bothering them as they work together to find a solution. Toxic conflict dynamics, however, lie within the styles of demand withdraw and mutual avoidance. In the demand withdraw circumstance, one partner will try to discuss an issue while the other partner wants to avoid it. In other words, one person will often criticize while the other defends. As for mutual avoidance, both partners will avoid conflict and choose not to express their true feelings. When this happens, there will always be this underlying feeling that makes all the happy moments feel less genuine. The feeling that there's some other issue that hasn't been confronted. Slowly but surely, the tension builds up and eventually both partners quietly grow apart from one another. Before we continue with the rest of the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide more support. Now, on to point number three. You have a hard time trusting the other person. It's one thing to have trust issues due to trauma or a bad childhood, but it's another thing to put your heart on the line only to experience letdowns one after the other. One person can't do all the heavy lifting in the relationship. If you're putting in all the work, practicing vulnerability, and exercising open communication, but your partner chooses to lie, betray, or beat around the bush, this goes to show they might not be as fully invested in the relationship as you are. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, and we want to quickly introduce you to our new Psy mascot that we're creating here. For those of you who have been watching for a long time, you may recognize the name. Isn't he cute? Okay, back to it. Four. They only see your ideal self, not you. Who doesn't fantasize about meeting someone who gets all of your dad jokes, or being with a great conversationalist? But... Over time, as you continue to date someone, imagination will fade as you replace them with real-life experiences. This is why falling in love is a slow, gradual process. A partner may hint towards their idealization. Do they constantly talk about how you should lose weight, or that you should pick up a certain hobby because it'd be so attractive, or compare you with their friend's partner? Blech. Probably not a keeper. 5. They focus on problems more than solutions. Does your partner focus on what happened in the past more than the present? Or they forgive you only to bring up that thing that you did to them when you have a future argument? Relationships take time, space, and collaborative efforts to flourish. But if you feel like your partner is holding on to the past more than trying to understand how to make things work and move forward, it might be time to address this and ask them where the both of you are headed. 6. They test you constantly. You're probably familiar with the concept of testing, whether you've done it plenty in school, for your license, or nailing a job interview. Life, in fact, is a series of tests in itself, and you may have to work harder on some days to find your willpower. In a stable relationship, your partner is meant to give you a safe space where you can be yourself. If they insist, however, on making you feel like you have to earn their love, not only can it be manipulative, but abusive. 7. Your values don't align with theirs. Take a good, hard look at your partner. And no, I don't mean observing the brands they wear or the haircut they might have just gotten. I mean really look within them. Do they want the same things as you in life? Or have similar priorities? Values are different from hobbies and interests, where they're more fixed. If you want to focus more on your career, but they want to settle down already and have kids, this may cause friction more than fulfillment. 
It's always a good idea to have these talks to make sure you and your partner are on the same page. And we just want to say thank you for being an ever-supporting fan of our channel. We really appreciate the Psy community we've built together. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Comment below and let us know what was the time when you realized a partner wasn't the one. And be sure to check out our video we did on the opposite, signs that they are a keeper. And as always, thanks for watching.